it's gonna be epic and I can't wait to share it with you guys it's a state-of-the-art never before seen by anyone chicken house how you doing guys Chad here welcome to another episode of Chronicles of a farm state startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm I'm standing right in front of my future chicken house and today folks is going to be the first day of a whole build series I'm going to do on this chicken house it's going to be a custom ultimate chicken house don't know yet what I'm going to call it you guys will see the shape uh, take place probably today in the first episode um, so you'll have a good idea as to what it is I'm going to be building after today so I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too early but I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy this build series. It's gonna be really fun. I'm telling you folks, I've never seen a chicken house like this before. Um, not to this scale. Really appreciate you watching. Before we get started, go ahead and pound that like button for me. Push that subscribe button. Click that little bell notification symbol. That way you get the pop-ups, you know, that we uploaded a new video. And I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And I hope you enjoy the episode. can see the shape guys you see the shape I guess the cat's out of the bag now this is an octagon has anybody ever seen a chicken house that was made as an octagon eight sides guys eight sides and you have to cut 22.5 degrees each corner in order to make an octagon and the whole base of this house is going to be just sitting on paver stones so they're kind of like this and I'm gonna to have to cut the paver stones also the same as I cut the wood 22.5 degrees so let me get to it
Hey guys, let me just take you over here to this footprint of my ultimate chicken house. I've been working at this for a few weeks now. It's a lot of work. Uh, just because this shows up in the first part of the series doesn't mean it didn't take me weeks and weeks. So there it is, guys. You can see what it kind of looks like. I've got the center point marked out. I basically made myself a little template of this uh, isosceles triangle, I guess. Difficult to figure out all the angles and it's 22.5 degrees in order to make an octagon. But I got the outer frame started and I have the paver stones down of the outer. And then I have the center done. The center's right there. And then that, that, that row right here, this is the start of the interior part of the coop. And then this wall right here is the exterior part of the coop. And then this is the run. So just to give you an understanding as to what I'm thinking, this is the center, a column coming up, and that's gonna hold up the roof and all that. Then where I'm standing right now in this ring right here, this first ring, I'll be able to walk around here, similar to the way I'm walking around right now. I'll be able to walk around the center. Hope that gives you a good idea. I'll be able to walk around the center. Then each one of these walls, okay? So there's, there's seven sides plus the eighth side is gonna be like the front entrance. So the front entrance will be right here right off the driveway so as soon as you come up the driveway you'll see the front entrance but basically I'll have a door in each one of these sides and then that'll take me into each individual coop so I'll be able to have seven different coops so seven different things maybe seven breeds maybe one of them will be for the baby chicks I'm gonna give you a quick update so you guys don't wonder what the heck is this idiot doing I know I'm a little bit of an idiot but I got a plan and the plans in my head um, I just wanted to talk to you about this template that I made this little triangle right here because I'm gonna be removing that now Maybe it'll be a chicken pavilion. Maybe it'll be a chicken gazebo. I don't know. But what I do know is that it's ultimate. You can see the shape of it there. It's looking pretty sick. I don't know what I'm doing really, but I'm just piecing it together as I go. It's a lot of work doing all this stuff by yourself, you know? But I love it. I enjoy it. I'm having fun. I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I guarantee you, you've never seen a chicken house build like this before, guys. I can't wait until our chickens are living in this thing. Can you believe it? Man, I've been planning this for ages. I've been holding it in, 
try not to tell you guys about it but now the cat's out of the bag custom ultimate octagonal gazebo pavilion for chickens i'm going to be using my sliding compound miter saw it's a great saw and i'm going to be using my air compressor and and i got my framing nailer so that's gonna that's gonna make my life a little bit easier doing this job once i get all the walls framed out then i'll put some kind of a structure on top um, you know with the two by six to try to straighten up the walls and all that
Holy shnikes, it's so hot and humid. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Check it out, guys. I'm right in the center. I'm right in the center. Doing a little turn. Doing a little dance. <laughs> this is awesome! Let me show you what I've done here. I got all the outer walls up. Except for this section right here because I want to be able to come in and out to do some of the inner walls and then I'll do that just before I'm ready to do the roof. So you can see I got the pavers all along the bottom on the outer ring. This section right here is going to be a run and don't forget there's eight sides. One side's the front entrance and seven sides will be seven individual runs and seven individual coops. Then the inner, which is this right here, this is going to be the coop. And then the inner inner, which is where I'm standing right now, is where I have access to each coop. And then the center right here, I'm going to turn this into a huge column and it's going to have a bunch of brooder sections and storage and whatnot. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I tried to think of everything building this thing. Um, I have this huge maple tree, huge, huge, right there. So unfortunately what I did is you can see I, I cut around it because I don't want to cut that tree because I love trees guys. So this is pretty cool. It's pretty big. Look at it. Is this custom ultimate or what? Never seen a chicken house like this before. If, uh, if anybody has seen a chicken house like this before, drop it in the comments. Let me see. Where can I find it? Because <laughs> I kind of feel like this is an original idea for me. Maybe not. Maybe somebody has already done something like this. But uh, I'm enjoying myself. Had a lot of fun. It's bloody hot today. It's so humid. But got to work on my chicken house now that the vegetable garden is set up. I still have things to do on the vegetable garden, but it, everything can start growing and I can start working on this because my chickens over in the barn, over there guys, there's too many in there. There are way too many. They're getting cramped. So I got to figure it out. Appreciate you watching guys. Thank you for watching the first episode in the chicken house build series. Next episode is going to be building some of the inner walls and I don't know what else. You'll have to wait and see. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe. Don't forget to pound that like. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.